Okay, this video is for uh, two airbrushes um, which are made for Iwata. Uh, this is the um, the Neo BCN, which as you can see is a bottle feed airbrush. And here we have the CN, which as you can see is a gravity feed airbrush. Uh, they're both aimed at um, the lower end of the market. They're budget priced airbrushes, but I'll show you in a minute just how just how good they are. So we'll we'll open the boxes up and see exactly what you get. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, airbrushes. See what you get inside the box as well. So um, both airbrushes come with a nozzle wrench because they both actually use a screwing type nozzle. Um, the BCN, the bottle feed, actually comes with a bottle, so you're ready to go straight out of the box. The CN, the gravity feed, uh, comes with a smaller replacement cup if you want to work on smaller projects. So um, now this one has actually got the 0.35 nozzle. The BCN has got a 0.5 nozzle. So perhaps this one for t-shirts, murals, etc. And the CN for smaller projects, maybe uh, fingernail art or something like that. They will both do really fine lines. There's not much in it between a 0.5 and a 0.35 nozzle, so to be honest, it's up to you. I guess it depends on whether you prefer a gravity feed or a siphon feed. So what we'll do is we'll look at the airbrushes in more detail and uh, we'll strip one down and put it back together again. Right, we'll take this to bits now and I'll show you what's, uh, what's inside it. I'll show you how simple it is. Um, one thing I do like about this is got a it's got a good uh, good lid for the paint cup. It fits really well. Um, inside of the the cup's machined really well as well. No no scratch marks or anything like that. It's, it's a nice smooth smooth surface that'll that'll clean easily. So that as I said simply screws off the body. Sits seats um, into the body with a, with an O ring there to to seal it. So. You can actually use this without uh, without a cup on it at all. If you want to use a couple of drops of paint, you can just remove the cup completely. But uh, it's up to you. Okay, so first of all, what we'll do is we'll um, we'll just take the handle off. Loosen the uh, the chucking nut. I press down. I always press down on the trigger just to keep everything out of the way of the needle as you're pulling it out. And then we'll just pull the needle straight out there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the, the chucky knot itself. And we'll take out the, uh, the spring retainer. You can see the spring, the trigger spring there. Okay, now I'm just going to pull out the, the needle tube. It's got the attached back lever, which I really like. It just makes it so much easier to pull out and, and, and put back together again. So it's, it's a lovely idea, that. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of the attached back lever. And then you can just pull the trigger straight up. What I like about this trigger is it's got a ball joint at the bottom. That's really nice. It helps to um, reduce friction. It rocks on that when you're pulling the, the uh, trigger back. And that just sits straight on top of the air valve. So that's that's really nice. So what we'll do now is we'll just, uh, that's the back end done, we'll move around to the front. Okay, here we're at the front of the airbrush. Let's take the needle cap off. I'm just screwing the air cap off the body, and that's it. You see the screwing nozzle on the end of the stem. Couldn't get any simpler to be honest, it's very, very simple. Um, the Neos um, can apparently uh, operate at lower pressures, or are designed to operate at low pressures. I'm, I'm wondering if that's because of the large air chamber inside this, this air cap here. You can see it's, it's, there's no obstructions at all in there, and there's quite a large area around the nozzle itself, so I wonder if that does actually help in, the, in using lower pressures. The suggested uh, pressure for this is actually um, as low as 5 psi, which I personally use on most airbrushes anyway, but it's, it is actually designed to be used for um, for smaller compressors that you may have at home, etc. So, so I do like that. Now that's as far as you'd want to go stripping it down. I won't go into the stem here. Um, there's no point, but there's nothing to it, to be honest with you. And I won't take the nozzle off because I, I don't want to disturb it because it's been sealed at the factory. So, there's a wrench supplied should you want to uh, replace it at any time. So. That's the airbrush uh, 
stripped down for now and we'll uh, just build it back up together again. Right now we've moved uh, back round to the front of the airbrush we'll put everything back together again now so first thing is um, we'll put the air cap on. When you put the air cap on just make sure you don't bump the nozzle itself so just be careful with that. Okay and we'll put the uh, the needle cap on as well just so we don't damage the needle um, in the future and that's the front finish so we'll move on around to the back and we'll build that up. Right we're around to the back of the airbrush now and we'll just start to put that back together again. So first of all we'll, we'll drop the trigger in. Now the trigger's got a scallop in it, you can just see it just there, that goes towards the back of the airbrush. So you just drop it in, there's absolutely no way you, you can't get it in the right place because because of the ball joint in the bottom it just drops straight onto the air valve anyway so you can't get that wrong. Needle tube goes in with the attached back lever. Simply push it in and it'll just emerge coming out of the slot resting against the back of the trigger. Then we've got the spring, slides over, the spring housing goes in next, just screw that in enough so that the handle can fit on, that's probably okay. I'll put the needle chuck nut on as well. I just press down on the trigger, I like to do that just to keep everything out of the way when you put the needle in and just line it all up and, and just slide the needle in carefully. You'll meet a little bit of resistance which means it's going through the seal and then it'll just come to a stop when it hits the nozzle which is about there. Nip the uh, nut up, just check that and that's all okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the handle back on. And that's it, it's all back together again. As I said, these are um, a, a budget priced airbrush um, aimed at the lower end of the market, but having looked at them and, and seen how good the quality is, there's no, there's no reason for uh, that any artist shouldn't use one really. Um, unless of course you're an airbrush snob, <laughs> um, but um, it's that it, they are good, great quality, and um, you can get extremely fine detail from them. Um, this has got the 0.35 uh, nozzle in it. As I said, the the siphon feed one has got the 0.5. So this is more applicable really to um, to slightly finer work, nail art stuff like that. But I mean, even with the 0.5 nozzle, you can get you can get really fine lines. So um, they're both really good airbrushes. Um, a great price and um, they are designed as I said to be used with uh, smaller sort of hobby compressors um, I think that's something to do with the the way the the air cap is um, is designed inside it'll work um, work happily at lower pressures um, this one suggested pressure is as low as 5 psi so um, so there you go that's the uh, the Neo Friwata that's the CN and the uh, BCN